It's early morning, and uh, we've got a habit to break. They're over at the other barn, or Danny's shop, and they don't know to come over here, so he's got to entice them to come here. I'm going to go ahead and put them a little bit of feed in their trough so that when they get here, we're going to see how they react this morning. But we got a bad habit to break. A little bit. Well guys, we got a bad habit to break. Cows are creatures of habit. They're over at the old barn. That's where they've been fed since they were babies. And this is a new barn. They don't know to come here. Even if I call them, they're sitting there hollering at me saying, no, you come here. And I'm like, no, you come here. So I'm just not gonna feed them over there. I don't know what time of the morning they'll get here. Uh, but right now, I'm hoping that I can coax them on over here and kind of get them trained to, this is the new place. Woo! Come on, girls! They're starting. Woo! Woo! Come on, him! Come on! Who's first? Candy looks like. But they get to run in here in a minute if you don't know who. Dexter will get out in front of all of them, probably. Woo! Depends on they split when they go out. One group goes one way and one group goes another way. Oh, Minnie's ahead of the group here. Come on, Minnie. Come on, Minnie, Minnie. Woo! Come on, Minnie, Minnie. Come on. Come on, girls! Oh, Candy done got back in the lead now. Dexter usually will work his way around. He'll come. Him and Dixie. They get to a certain point, they'll come running. Candy's in the lead. Uh, come here, girl. And then Dixie. Come on. And Mr. Dexter. Come on here, Mr. Dexter. Come on here, boy. Come on here, little girl. Come on, baby. baby. Come on here, little brownie. Come on here. Come on, Samson. Come here, boy. Come over here. Come on here, little brownie, brownie. Come on here, little boy. Come on here. Come on here, little brownie. Come on here, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on, brownie, brownie. There you go. Come on here, brownie, brownie. Come on here, boy. 
Come on, Mr. Brownie. Come on. Here comes Betty. No, that's Samson. Come on. Wait, which one is that? That's Betty. That's Come on, Betty. Hannah. Come on, Hannah. There he goes. Minnie goes, why can't I go? She's having trouble with her horns. Well, she, she just don't want to get her head caught or something. They need to learn this because if it ever had to be milk. Yeah. There she goes. All of them eating at once. Well, Candy keeps. Candy can't. Dixie, she, she wants to get by Dixie, but. She's scared of Dixie. There's a spot over here she could get. There you go, Candy. Come on. She, she don't like Daisy either. <laughs> She's in between two. Dixie don't want nobody eating next to her. Danny put their hay in a different spot and he hadn't brought the hay for this one today. Candy and Dexter's been letting him know there's no hay over there. I know. It's on the other hill. They won't leave till he brings them hay.
Dixie coming out of the barn. She had to go check it out. We so got to break a habit here. Come on, baby boy. Come on. In my boy, yeah, in his my big old boy, oh yeah, yeah, in his big old boy, yeah, in his big boy. Oh, we so gotta break a habit. He missed his mark. <laughs>
Hey guys, we the cows is about learned that they're supposed to eat over here. It's just that old habits are hard to break. For I mean, ever since we've had them, they've eat over there at the other barn, and this is a new place for them. But they know as soon as I holler for them, they know to come on over here, and they're all pretty much learning their places. It's just gonna take a little while for them to uh, all figure out the pecking order and who gets what and where and stuff like that. And, a lot of people have commented that, you know, uh, Miss Dixie needs to be the first one to go, and we know that. We're not ignorant to that fact, but we don't know if she's bred or not, so we don't want to take her to a butcher shop uh, if she's bred. We want to make sure that she's not bred or anything like that, and it'll probably be next year, because this year we have two males that we're going to probably be taking off to get butchered, and we'll probably let her stay for another year. And as soon as she drops a calf next year, we'll be a little bit better set up with our facilities here, hopefully to be able to load her into a trailer and take her off because she is a problem. And we know that. So, I mean, it's just one of the things you, uh, we don't want to put her off on somebody else to be dealing with the same issue. We'd rather just let her be meat for the future for us. And I know that may sound horrible to some people, but that's the life and the nature of the beast on the farm. So right now what we're doing is we're getting our trailer hooked up. We got to run to town and we're going to be getting some products while we still can. We talked to the place the other day for our next big adventure here at Deep South Homestead. <laughs> 